good morning and welcome to this week's weekly vlog it's currently half term here um if you are not from the uk half term is like a week you have in the middle of the term half the term we just went to the botanical gardens with friends and it absolutely pulled it down Stephen's washing Ethan's toys, this is how I live my life. It poured it down, but they had an animal man there. Do you have that as well where you live? So when you're at school and you're little, you have an animal man or an animal lady come in, they bring like spiders and I remember it used to have be an owl. Uh, so they had an animal, so we all paid a pound and we saw a giant snail, stick insect, a snake, a lizard, a couple of lizards. So the kids had a great time and they're just downstairs because they're actually gonna help me with this activity. Um, also, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Last week's vlog or a video at some point recently, I said, oh, I'm gonna tidy up my makeup area because I have makeup in it. I found something now that um, is pre my wedding. I've been married for 11 and a half years and I was just speaking to Kate and Kate was like, I did, because my friend Katie, that's who I went to the uh, botanical gardens with, she's like, sorry, Erin just asked me a question. Um, she, Katie did her dissertation at university on the germs that live on old makeup, and I was like, that has, that has sealed the deal. I am not going to put up with this anymore. So I'm gonna go through my makeup, I'm gonna lay it all out, and then the kids, again, because my kids love polishing, so I'm going to have like one polish all of the dressing table, and then I'm going to have one kind of rinse out all the tubs that I'm going to be using. And I just want to, I don't want to have lip, lip glosses that, that were from like 2009. I don't think that's acceptable. So I'm going to go through it all. So I'm going to pile it all up and then obviously I'll do a new a pile of new stuff if I've got any. I don't think I've got any that perhaps can go to family and friends or there is somewhere where you can post it and it can be given to ladies in need who need it. Uh, and I also bought a few new little bits as well. And what I will do is I will link below kind of my favourite makeup products that I buy time and time again. So like Benefit Professional, Stiller Kitten Eyeshadow uh, Collection Concealer and all that kind of thing. But let me just show you what we're working with. So this is the area. Um, yes, I don't drink caffeine, so I have to rock a decaf Diet Coke. This needs cleaning. This is what we're dealing with. I mean, grubby. I mean was bought before I got married. I mean, I'm unlikely to ever wear these. I mean, an original Urban Decay palette that is disgusting. And a million mascaras and probably, they probably don't even work. And then we have, oops, a Daisy Maisie. Over here we have a oh, 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 oh the diet coat nearly went. Over here we have lip glosses and stuff. And I know that where are the ones that I was thinking that I had pre Steven? Oh I can't find them now. There's some in here, not pre Steven before I got married. There's some in here that are so old. But I'm gonna go through those and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be really strict and I'm gonna get the lipsticks out and the ones that aren't insanely old, I'm gonna pair them up with a lip liner. Uh, I mean, could you imagine if I lip lined my lips with a Sharpie? We would be in trouble. We would be in trouble. And then over here, I've got all sorts of um, poor, uh, I mean, I don't know how old these things are. Different bits and bobs and Two faced, what's this? It's a blush or something. I just need to go through this. And then here is like newer stuff. And I also want to get all my makeup brushes and I want, I need to clean them and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be cleaning them. But look again, I've got some eyelashes and I'm don't, I don't think I'm going to be wearing the eyelashes. So, and there's also some travel size stuff. So I need to put those like, like little travel size stuff actually is quite useful isn't it 
So maybe I could use like a, I got, the stuff I ordered, I got a free makeup bag. So maybe I could have like a travel size section in there. I don't know. But first of all, I'm going to get all of this out and into piles. That is the plan. I'm doing that thing where I wished I hadn't started a job. But I have. And I'm going to see it through. And afterwards, I am going to... Um, I'm going to clip... I thought the monkeys were back in focus again. I'm going to clean my makeup bushes. I hate doing it, it's so boring. I say to my friend, oh, I'll clean my makeup brushes. And she's like, oh, I wish we could just buy new ones every time. I'm like, oh no, I don't. So I did a little boots order because um, I wanted, I knew I was going to be replacing some of my makeup. And I did get, what's this? Oops, a little baby or perfect, a little bag. And I think my plan is to keep my, my miniatures in that. That's the plan at the moment, as it stands. A bit dark, love. Um, that's the plan as it stands. But I'll also show you some of the stuff that I bought, which I love and I will buy time and time again. So my favourite mascara is Paradise Ecstatique. Did I sound French? Um, L'Oreal Limited Edition. It's really good. Oh, the, it's only limited because it's got hearts on. It's not usually. Usually, it comes like that. Um, or oh, I've just had a little bit of a panic. I don't like waterproof mascara because, which is the blue one, which is very good, but I don't like waterproof mascara because I can't flip and ever get it off my eyes. But if you like waterproof mascara, go for the blue one. If you don't like, go for like the brownie what the orangey one. Um, it's very difficult to get off your eyes that, but uh, I have got. I made, a, I made a mistake purchase. So I bought, it was in three for two, so I've got three of those. Um, I restocked my professional from Benefit, which is really, really great. And I used to fill up my pores. I've got quite a deep pore on my nose that I have to kind of like shoehorn stuff in because that's how uh, sexy I am. <laughs> I love, love, oh, now I'm over, I bought the wrong color. I think this is a little bit darker than what I usually get yeah extra fair this is fair the last imperfection collection uh ultimate wear can see look how gross that one is Bloop. i bought myself a new one of those let's see what it's like with the darker color i also bought this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time and it's Stila, and it's called kitten and the one i have here is you know when you know if you took it out of the house it would smash and break into a thousand pieces we're, we're dealing with that at the moment so i've bought that again that's a really really nice uh very i don't think it's, it's like a very shimmery i just really like it. it's a really nice color and then i bought Too faced naturalized i thought i'd treat myself to a new palette as i showed you some of my palettes are they really should be in a makeup museum so i got this natural eyes palette which is just some basics does it smell chocolatey maybe maybe a little bit just some like browns there's mattes i'm a bit annoyed because i thought that was shimmery i quite like i'd quite like i'm trying to make it a bit brighter i'd quite like a really shimmery pale one it's not working i'll, I'll talk to you down there um but i got that as well so I will link those all below and I'm going to now get the children up and I'm going to get them to clean out all my little things that I keep all my makeup on so it's all nice and clean and they love cleaning like they la 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 they love it they often say things like mommy can we do polishing but they often want to polish the stairs never let a child polish your stairs because I tell you what you'll slide down there and break your neck. Right, let's get going. So, I did, and I've not bought any new storage for this because I have already got makeup storage. Some of it is from like TK Maxx. I feel like Home Bargains, their Ikea, their Poundland. These are what come with the drawers. They're a bit grubby, so as my kids, la la, la 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 la, 
I love cleaning and polishing and stuff. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna sit here and give these a nice, good wipe down for me. And then I need you to do the same with the bushes, the, the, okay. the little things, the tubs, the bushes are in. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so let me get them set up doing that. They are geniuses. So if we clean these guys and then put them nicely on the carpet to dry. Like this? Uh, yeah, maybe if you clean the inside of it. Yeah. So give it a good scrub on the inside as well. It's more like the inside that I'm concerned about than the outside. And then put them nicely over there to dry. That would be really, really helpful. And I'll talk the people through the makeup. Oh, so <laughs> I have sectioned them. And I think the biggest section of issues is going to be the blushes and the bronzers, the palettes, and this section here. Now there is stuff in here that hasn't been opened, so I'm definitely going to put those in a pile because I'm unlikely to use that very dark lip liner or the purple one. So I'm going to put the. <laughs> Everyone's like shush. I'm going to put those. Let's go through those. I really, really just want all the lipsticks I really, really like. I'm also going to keep a little, a couple of lip glosses because sometimes Erin. She just dances and she likes lip gloss, so I'll probably keep those and put them in the drawer where all the face paints is downstairs. Uh, what else was I about to say? What I am going to do is, I'm going to have like, how do I describe it? Almost like an emergency set of makeup. In case I go on holiday and I lose my makeup bag and then I can come home and I've got one of each of the stuff I really like. So, does that make sense? Does that make sense? So I'm gonna have like, put the miniatures in one thing. I'm gonna have like a little emergency set as well. Where's my dressing gown? But it's the lipsticks is gonna be the hardest one. So I'm gonna be really, really, really brutal with them. I'll, I'll show you a menu we've got now. These lot here. And then I will come back and show you how much I've wheedled it down to. Weedled? Is it whittled? Yeah, whittled. <laughs> whittled it down to. Right. I've wheedled it. Weedled. Whittled! I've wheedled and whittled it down. I've got just reds and. Oh, I think that's too dark, actually. I think I'm going to put that. Um, a few lip liners. I've kept like my bigger brand lipsticks and they're all fair. They're all Ethan's polishing the dressing table. They're all within the, the past year, so they're not. They don't need to be got rid of. Um, and then here's just some really simple, basic little... I do use these. So I think that's enough for that section. I've got these. These are all new that can be given away. And I kept uh, that for Erin's dance class. That can go downstairs. So that's good. I'm now going to go through the eyeliners and the mascaras. And I'm going to have to... Do you know, I'm going to go through the eyeliners and the scars and the um, inky eyeliners and I'm going to have to go through each one and open them and assess <laughs> whether, how long I've had them for. Right. Stuff like this, I've just got it out and it's just dry. So, oh, it's going to have to go. This is definitely going to have to go in the bin. I'm going to check all the mascaras as well. So, I've kept the one I'm currently using at the moment, this is a brand new one. This is my favourite. I'll link this below as well. This is Smolder Coal and it's my favourite eyeliner. I love it. This is my favourite lacquer eyeliner and it's called Black Lacquer by L'Oreal. I need to get another one of those. So I'm going to, do you know what, after I've done this, I'm going to make a list and uh, next time I go in, I'm going to start looking for things in, the, in offers. I've kept one sparkly eyeliner. I've kept one, just other eyeliner, and these are the mascaras. These are all ones that have not been used. Um, oh God, oh no, but then I have got these. I just forgot I had these. Maybe I should put that. I've never used the Wet n Wild though. Maybe I should put that in the pile to, to um, give away to somebody who needs a bit more than me. And, and you know what? I might see if my sister wants that one because I've just moaned about how I don't really like it and it's daft to keep it, isn't it? Right, you're going over there as well. So I'm just sticking to these. Eye, eyebrow wise, 
I love the goof proof pencil. I've also got the gimme brow. I've kept this just because I haven't, this can be like my spare one. And then a uh, clear brow gel. And now I'm gonna go up here and sort through the primers and the, what's this called? Foundation. Right, I have Keepern. Keepern! Kept. <laughs> I have Keepern. I've written a book, Erin. Would you like to read a book by a woman who can't speak? I have kept um, these. I checked these. These are 18 months, so these are, these are fine. I've kept the 100, which is what I use now. And then after coming back from Florida, I will use the 200. So I've kept those. The poor professional, I've also got a new one knocking about somewhere, haven't I, that I will yeah. um, put away. I am currently using this e.l.f. faceless... Fa Faceless pore primer. <laughs> Paula's face primer. And I'm going to use this as my travel primer. So this is going to go in the little pile of travel stuff over there. And then this is just my spare. You know, so I'm going to have the spare in case I lose everything and I'm left without any makeup. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I hardly wear makeup anyway. But yes, yeah, so that's nice. It's all looking nice. Right. The pile over here of new stuff to give away is growing bigger by the second. And what I am automatically going to do is... I'm going to pop false eyelashes. I'm not going to wear false eyelashes. <laughs> Ethan's like... You've got long eyelashes. Oh, thank you. She's like, you've got long eyelashes. So <laughs> that's going to go over there. Um, and I don't even know how to use these blender things. So I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep one just in case I ever need one. And I'm going to put these in that as well. Um, what are you whispering about? I know how to use a blender Oh, you know how to use a blender brush. Oh, you do, do you? Maybe you could show me. <laughs> so we're getting down, guys. I'm going to go through highlight. Oh, that's a highlighter there, isn't it? I'm going to go through highlighters now. These three are virtually the same colour and I've not used any of them. I'm going to keep one. I'm going to keep the Illamasqua one because that is the most expensive. I, I didn't buy that. I was given it. And these two I'm going to give away. I got a lot in the glossy box Christmas thing. Um, so Christmas advent calendar. So I'm going to go and put these two away. I'm going to keep this one because this is really nice. This iconic is brilliant. And one's fresh and one's not fresh. I'm going to keep the not fresh one out. Now, I think I was given Bare Pro Highlighter. Let me just have a look at that. I have whittled down the eyeshadows and I was, uh, I mean, I actually think these two are probably a bit old as well, but I can't get rid of them. So I've kept a little set of silvers and what's this one? Like a good, oh, I know that's really old. I know it is. I can't get rid of it. Sorry. Um, I've got two silly ones, my new kitten one and uh, it's called Oasis and this I'm keeping but I need to replace it, it's the Bourjois Light and it's uh, it's like a white but I need to replace that but that's what's going on with there and now I need to tackle the, the, the palette, it makes me so sad. <laughs> I just googled one of my palettes, I was like surely they only got this last year and I was like four years old. 24 months so two years ago this shouldn't have been on my face anymore so and you know I was going to keep the ones like for the memories what's that stuffed I'm not a makeup historian I don't need to keep palettes for memories I need to keep palettes to put on my eyes so I'm going to be really really strict uh but I do feel a bit memories na -na 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 -na. and it makes me think oh, I wish I'd just put it on more when I had it so lessons to learn from makeup I only buy stuff that you plan. I haven't really, but apart from the stuff I bought for this, I haven't bought makeup for ages, as we can see. So, me. I finally whittled it down. I've got a huge pile to give away, a huge pile of just stuff that's just out of date, which makes me sad. I think I just bought stuff. There's my bra hanging off. Nice. I think I bought stuff pre-kids. Because I was being all fancy and going out and, you know, living my best life. Then I had kids and I just was like, whoa. And then in the past year I've been given some stuff and I just haven't been using it. And I, I really want that to change. 
I really want to start like treating myself. So now my plan is to get these two, which are on my main. So this is what I have my everyday makeup in. So I want in there my everyday makeup that I'm going to use every day. Clue is in the title. And then I'm going to have a tub for miniatures. I'm going to have a tub for fresh stuff to replace the old stuff when it runs out. Um, so that's the plan at the moment. And then I'm going to go in my makeup brushes and I'm going to be really brutal and go, right, what can I salvage through cleaning? And what do I have to just say goodbye? You have to go and live with the, the brush fairies. Uh, what was I going to say? Right, I think what I'm going to do is when I go to Florida, I'm going to go to Sephora. So I'm going to set aside a bit of my budget to go to Sephora and pick up some nice bits and pieces. So if you do live in a country that has Sephora, let me know your must-haves. What do you think I have to get when I'm in Sephora? Uh, I don't go for August. I don't go till August. And I have no intention of buying any makeup till then. However... I, do, I have got a morph palette and it is just really manky. But, and they're not that expensive, are they? But I'm going to make do with what I've got. But yeah, any top tips, anything you know, any makeup that you think I should should get, anything you you like, my recommend, I recommend, please, please let me know. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Right, it's time to put all this stuff away. The kids, it was, they helped so much. And then they polished all my bedroom. My heart was just like, my mummy heart was so proud. And now they're watching a film. Uh, so I'm going to tidy all this up. We are now on to the makeup portion brushes section. So I've rounded up all my brushes around the whole house. And I'm going to go through them. I'm going to do a pile of uh, stuff that I think I can salvage by cleaning. And then I'm going to clean it. Then I'm going to do some to be chucked. And I'm going to do... Uh, some that I don't think I can use that somebody else might want to use and then I'm going to do some that you have just purely dyed and are going to make up brush heaven which I imagine to be a marvellous place uh, but yeah I am not good at make, um, washing my makeup brushes um, it's it's oh, let me know how you deal with it do you just keep using your makeup because now where is the one I used today this one <laughs> I use this one and it's solid. It's like, I might as well get a stone and rub makeup on my face. Right, let's get this done. Hello, just had a cookie break. Ethan bought us up a cookie. Um, so, to clean my makeup brushes, I use the Style Pro, which is really good. <laughs> Actually, that's, my, that's made me feel really, really sick. That's the grub I got off my brushes. You have to use the makeup brush cleanser with it, otherwise it doesn't really work that good. But you dip your brush in, and it cleans it, and then it also dries it as well. It's, um, let me show, I have shown it before in a, a video actually, but, so you get loads of different, you get loads of different uh, endings, so you can put all different sizes in it, and then, do you remember that one that I was like, this is rock hard. Look at it now. Look at it. It's almost like brand new. Oh, that's the wrong. Of course I'd use the one with the wrong size. So, you put that on the end. And I've used it on real with Real Techniques brushes. Vanity Planet brushes. There is a couple of Real Techniques ones. Right. I think, is it this one? There's one of the massive ones it doesn't work with. And then you... Um, shove it in the thing and it cleans it and it is and dries it so you don't have to i used to have to dry my makeup brushes on um radiators which was really annoying so that's done so i'm gonna have all nice fresh blushes ethan's polished all that all my makeup's nice and fresh and i will show you and i've got a big massive stash i'm gonna give it to my mom who gives it to her friend who's got younger daughters and I know they love it so it's like a nice little treat to have loads of makeup so that'd be really really good because I think the place where you send makeup to unless you have another address um it stopped taking parcels so at least I know it'll go to someone who'll really really like it and that'll be good so I'm just gonna clean the last few of my eyeshadow brushes they all need cleaning and then I think I need to wheedle these down because I don't need so many. Really. Just, and then they're just gross. 
So that's what I'm going to do next. Kids have been so good. Because we had such a lovely morning this morning. And it's pouring down. It's just nice for them to have like a chill out together. I think when you're a mum you feel like we have to do activities all the time. We had a play date yesterday. We went and saw the animal, animal mum this morning. And this afternoon they're just playing and watching telly and having a cookie and helping me clean. And just... It's generally chilling out a bit. It's always... First day of holidays I always find is a little bit bonkers and everybody's like there's no routine and we don't know what's going on and we're all so excited to be off and then as the just as you settle into it with a half term then it's time to go back to school which is a real shame uh so they're doing really well today i'm really pleased yesterday i had to set some rules actually no this morning i was like right, we need a chat and i chatted with them individually like if you do this you won't be allowed to watch your tablet if you do this, you won't be able to watch your tablet for a week. And if you do this, you won't be able to have your tablet for a month. So, so far they're doing really good. I mean, it is only Tuesday. Um, and I've got tomorrow. But then Wednesday we're in London with Stephen. So we'll sit when they won't have their tablets then anyway. But we'll see what I'm going to do these brushes. And I'm going to tidy it all up. And then I'm going to give you a full tour of what I've done. And I feel really pleased. I feel like I'm making real positive changes to feeling a bit smarter. Like my children are seven and nine now. Um, and it's okay to want to have like a bit of nice makeup on or wear an outfit that makes you feel really positive about yourself. Don't get me wrong. A lot of the times I'm in my, my jumpsuit with no makeup on and converse. But I think it's okay. Like last night I went to the theatre and I was going to go in what I was wearing. Which is perfectly nice. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to put a bit of a nice dress on and put a bit of lipstick on. And just feel confident about myself. And I think that's a good, a good plan. And also thanks guys for all your love on my outfit posts on Instagram recently. And I really enjoy doing it. So it's definitely something I'm going to be doing more often. Um... You'll have seen last week also there was Joni dresses, so, and they were, oh my god, they fit so well. It's all, it's almost like they're made for me, and it just makes me so happy, so I really appreciate that. Right, I'm gonna wash the last few brushes. Ooh. I've finished, I've finished. Right, it's all been cleaned, courtesy of my little Ethan we have so this is my daily makeup we have blusher and bronzer we have my foundation we have a primer from elf I'm not sure about I think might give me spots I'll keep you posted we have my new palette natural eyes we have this tart tartist pro glow and brush blush which is kind of I use it for for like if I'm going out because it's like very sparkly blusher we have a Anastasia Beverly Hills which I know is two years old oh no I think it might be three year old three years old highlighter set I think that's one of the things I need to replace when I go to Florida this little thing was from Home Sense I will link some below I think this is from Home Bargains or maybe even Pearland and here we have eyeliner brow thing a brand fresh new mascara a liquid eyeliner my eye pri eye shadow primer professional some scissors a new collection concealer my favorite red lipstick and lip liner my <laughs> i've lost a bit of highlighter so i'll use that on a night out i won't use that day to day my new kitten eyeshadow so these are ones i use every day um, perfume I've washed makeup brushes and also added some new ones I got for my birthday for Christmas these are all washed I have dark colors over here and then the light colors over here this is foundations and spare powder and like my emergency kit because obviously I'm convinced all my makeup's going to be stolen for some unknown reason all lipsticks is much better in here now. These are just all nice lipsticks and lip balms. In this drawer, we have very bare. We have um, a new bronzer, uh, a bronzer, 
eyeshadows or like eye stuff the sharpie that for some other reason i can't get rid of i've kept some Too faced palettes a couple of naked palettes my powder this is brilliant for dry eye because i get dry eye little sharpeners the mascaras and then over here we have my two palettes and i gave it a really good clean and we've got all the new stuff that i will use during the course of the year so like mascara is another professional new vaseline a new foundation and then we've got my little box of miniatures so i can just pull this out when i'm going on holiday and it's got a spare toothbrush and it's got all different bits and pieces and then this is an empty thing here and then this here is the pile i should give to mother tomorrow to pass on all new stuff that has been kind of gifted or i didn't need or i've bought and made a wrong purchase so yay Ta -da! so there we go i feel refreshed i feel clean i feel excited i feel today this could be the greatest day of our lives which is a slight exaggeration so there we go i hope you enjoyed this video a nice little organization video i will leave loads of links below and i'll let you know if it's an affiliate and if it's not an affiliate if uh, an affiliate is i was explaining to my friend today say you bought a dress off joni for 20 pound or 30 pound joni would give me two pound of that that's how it works that's how affiliate works uh but i only do affiliates for things that i like or i will say to you i didn't really like this but you might like it and i'll leave an affiliate as we know from the asos haul where i looked terrible in lots of the stuff but you still bought the stuff that i looked terrible in because you were like looks bad in there you look pretty great on me so i'm gonna clean all this i'm not gonna clean all this i'm gonna get undressed go downstairs have a cuddle with the kids and make dinner and wait for Stephen to come home. Uh, I love half term, it's my absolute favourite. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I will be back soon for another vlog and maybe next week or the week after will be like my first kind of Disney vlog in a while, Disney video in a while, because I'm gonna be booking our food and I'm gonna kind of talk you through the process of how to book your meals on my Disney experience and don't forget I've got the Disney blog so go and check that out. Right, have a wonderful day, I love you lots and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye guys!